morning to all. Today I'm going to bake a fixing saw from Jeff Taiwa. Okay. So uh, first of all, you should know conjectiva is very important part of I. Doing a diagnosis of some disease. Conjectiva plays important role. Like if there is a jaundice, then color of conjectiva is yellow, or pale yellow. If there is a anemic patient, then you can see through conjectiva. So, uh, surgical condition affecting conjectiva uh, conjectivitis, uh, cataract, relaxation of lens, dermoid cyst, keratoconjectivitis cyst, conjectiva, edema. Right? So, these are the affections of some affections of conjectiva. So you can uh, see here this one is a sclera and this portion is conjectiva. So what is a uh, conjectivitis? Conjectivitis is inflammation of conjectiva. If there is a uh, conjectiva, then uh, causative uh, agent are uh, many. So uh, careful examination and culture examination of the conjectival scrapping is very important to rationalize the treatment. Okay. So inflammation can be self-limiting or protect, protecting when there is decreased tear production. Inflammation of conjectiva leads to many changes in the conjectiva. You, uh, if you left uh, untreated uh, conjectivitis, then it creates many problem of eye. So, uh, a classification of conjectiva, the first one is lateral conjectivitis, follicular conjectivitis, uh, supportive conjectivitis, and mycotic conjectivitis, parasitic conjectivitis. Here, I think supportive conjectivitis, right? So uh, you can see here cataral conjectivitis. There is increased tear uh, production. And that is the sign of uh, cataral conjectivitis, acute hyperemia, and chemosis. Okay. So uh, these are the sign of cataral uh, conjectivitis. What about etiology? All the causes of active hyperemia except local bacterial infection. Right. So, local uh, bacterial infection can cause cataract conjectivitis seen along with intropion, dystrachiasis, and ectopic cilia. So, uh, mainly cilia uh, also uh, cause uh, cataract conjectivitis uh, and that creates Problem in eye treatment. Recovery generally uh, generally seen without any treatment. 
if uh, you do a treatment according to the situation if there is a uh, cataract conjunctivitis due to uh, entropian or ectropian uh, so uh, you can do treatment according to that right if there is a uh, infection then uh, you, you have to go for a uh, topical antibiotic if there is severe infection then uh, you have to go for subconjunctival and injection so uh, you do treatment according to the uh, situation then uh, follicular conjunctivitis follicular uh, conjunctivitis is mostly allergic there is persistent graze mucoid discharge a classical sign such type of uh, conjunctivitis in normally looking eye so a uh, main uh, sign is mucoid discharge from the eye and hypertrophy of lymphoid follicles is a common occur occurrence it, uh, so uh, etiology prolonged irritation of the conjunctiva due to pollen dust any previous infection of lymphoid follicle so these are uh, mainly uh, allergic Due to aller allergy, uh, follicular conjunctivitis occurs. How can treat? So, if there is a lymphoid follicle, then you have only also debridement of that lymphoid uh, follicle surgically with anesthesia and with blood instrument. Chemical debridement can also be done through 1 to 2 percent copper sulfate or 0.5 percent of silver nitrate by rubbing or installation in eye. Topical antibiotic with corticosteroid ointment for 7 to 10 days. Okay, so these are the treatments. Suppurative conjunctivitis. Suppurative conjunctivitis. Uh, conjunctivitis developed from some infections. So uh, this is uh, wrongly written here. That is supportive conjunctivitis, not supportive conjunctivitis, right?
for suppurative conjunctivitis suppurative conjunctivitis developed from some infectious agent right there is purulent or mucopurulent discharge obviously uh, suppurative means purulent discharge there is discrimination of epithelial cells of conjunctiva acute purulent uh, conjunctivitis is also seen in newborn puppy before lid separation and is called ophthalmia neonatal right so you can see uh, many times uh, in newborn baby just uh, eyes closed but you can see there is some yellow discharge right so uh, that condition is uh, called ophthalmia neonatra so you can see here suppurative or purulent discharge mucopurulent discharges in case of suppurative conjunctivitis okay treatment so you can uh, first you can uh, do culture and sensitivity test and uh, you according to before you press uh, you should prescribe antibiotics okay treatment recovery uh, generally seen without treatment okay may use antibiotic ointment with corticosteroid to prevent clearing of infectious cells pathogen are normally present in the conjunctival site recovery generally seen without any treatment that is for a uh, you born baby but in a uh, young condition i think uh, you have to go for some antibiotic treatment or according to situation you can treat So that uh, this is a previous portions of suppurative uh, uh, conjunctivitis uh, due to infectious, uh, mostly staphylococci, streptococci, okay, mycoplasma, morexilla in the mind, and chlamydia in sip. Systemic disease, canine distemper, infectious bovine. Uh, rhinotracheitis, blue tongue virus. So all uh, these are the uh, causative agent for suppurative uh, conjunctivitis.
so these are the causative as and for procurative conjunctivitis right how can treat Uh, using two percent uh, boric acid or NSS, uh, but nowadays uh, you can flush with NSS to clear IV four uh, treatment. Then topical antibiotic uh, ointment or drop you can give for uh, three to four times for eight to ten days in chronic cases. Chemical uh, cauterization may done using 0.5% silver nitrate followed followed by prolonged antibiotic therapy from proper CST. So if there is chron uh, chronic, then you can uh, cauterize with 0.5% silver uh, nitrate with normal slime, and uh, after CST conjunction study test. Uh, you can uh, give antibiotics then uh, mycotic conjunctivitis conjunctivitis caused by fungus that is mycotic conjunctivitis uh, characterized by a uh, black dry exudate when aspergillus in case of uh, aspergillus there is a black dry exudate then uh, yellow discharge when candida infections diagnosis take scrapping of conjunctiva and using methylene blue examination for the presence of the fungus first uh, you uh, take a sample and you have to advise for examination with uh, whether it is uh, candida or aspergillus infection and according to that you can give your treatment so uh, the next one is uh, parasitic conjunctivitis so parasitic conjunctivitis due to parasite that is uh, Thalassia californensis. I think uh, you have seen in clinics uh, parasitic conjunctivitis in, ca in case of horse, right? So Thalassia uh, gulosa and Thalassia sajibni seen in all these species. Topical white thread like structure parasites are seen in conjunctival sac. You can see here. This one is the parasite of eye. And uh, what condition uh, occur after parasitic infections? That is epiphora, hyperemia, and sometimes mucoporulent discharge are common clinical sign of parasitic infestation in conjunctiva. Okay, you can uh, see the naked eye. Okay. So these are the name of parasites are related to individual species. Okay, so your uh, line of treatment in uh, parasitic, uh, parasitic infection is to uh, remove first parasite by fine needle then give proper treatment with antibiotics right so these are the these are about conjunctivitis so uh, conjunctivitis uh, classification 
it also uh, you can uh, classify based on etiology your uh, etiology okay if uh, uh, there is a specific conjunctivitis a specific in case of a specific a conjunctivitis example uh, seen in pink eye in horses and distemper distemper in dog and non specific conjunctivitis is also occur that is uh, in acute condition sub acute condition and chronic conjunctivitis according to nature of inflammation that are the catarrhal suppurative purulent so these all are the related to conjunctivitis okay uh some term like symbolophron means uh, where the bulbar conjunctiva is adherent to the palpebral conjunctiva that is symbolophron and kyloblephron it is adhesion of the eyelid teresium teresium is condition where there is growth of conjunctiva extending towards the cornea okay so it can remove surgically after ligation and another is a uh, dermoid uh, that is embryonic uh, congenital embryonic disease and in in this condition there is misplaced em embryonic cutaneous tissue on conjunctiva and uh, uh, one point is chemosis that is protrusion of swollen con uh, swollen conjunctiva through the palpebral fissure so uh, these all are the about conjunctivitis